it's your TV BFF Jen and I will be watching the final two episodes of the Willow TV series. Last episode the crew is trying to escape from the Skellen prison. Kit has fallen into a lake of the elixir that they've been brewing there. We got left on that cliffhanger of her falling through the surface and her maybe presumably drowning and everyone scrambling to get her to safety especially Alora, who is trying to cast some magic to rescue her. I'm assuming she's okay. And actually, I've been thinking a lot about this. And I think that because she fell into Elixir, I think it's very likely when she comes out, she's likely going to be different in some way because the trolls are very different since they started drinking Elixir. They seem to be much smarter than they were. They used to be more ape-like, primitive creatures. So if someone like Kit falls into the elixir and ends up ingesting a lot of it, who knows what kind of effect that'll have on her, but I am expecting some kind of effect from this elixir that she's fallen into once she's been saved. That'll be my prediction. I may be totally off base, but that's what makes sense to me. I am really excited to finish out this series, so let's get started. This day never ends. It will. How do you know that? Because nothing lasts forever. She is so the crone. Did you get your get? I don't know why it's that color, but it tastes good. You drank it? Yeah, but he's not eating anything. So where are you from? Kashmir. I'm from Tirislin. I'm actually the prince of Tirislin. Congratulations. <laughs> I was saying that I think that maybe that's why I'm here. Either that or I'm in the most tedious nightmare of all time. At least it was until... Until what? Until you came along. Most in Prince Chauncey McSleezoid or whatever your name is. <laughs> I don't know what you're used to back home, but I'm not some palace that's gonna go all quivery just because you bat your eyes in my direction. All I'm interested in is getting out of here. If I wasn't suspicious as heck of her, I would have actually liked her after that. And you've tried to leave. I did. I walked for days or weeks. But somehow the city, it just, it, it brought me. Kid! going to be messed up. Oh, Kit's going to be so mad. Well, hey, Laura did it. Good job. But Kit was already pissed about being separated from her dad. She's really going to be pissed about getting separated from Eric. That's really interesting now that we find out that that pool that Eric is drinking from is actually connected to the elixir and Skellen. You should try it. See if it works. Oh, you mean just... Don't do a thing like that just casually. Demands the perfect moment. Like charging into the cave of a serpent, visiting your mother after you haven't seen her for like two years. I should really check up on my mother. He has really built up this cuirass in his mind. And yes, you should see your mother, Borman. Crossing the sea is the only way to reach the immemorial city. So let's go. You need to rest. I'm good. So did Kit not recognize him? Did she not see Eric? Huh. Because Alora's, yeah, Alora's hair has turned fully red now. Those uh, dying treatments have been slowly fading out throughout the series. Anybody here? I'm fine. Yeah, Kit doesn't look okay. I guess there are worse ways to go. He's <laughs> like... <laughs> I'm sorry, but farting is always funny. Don't get many customers outside of Colossus crab season. What is that? That's a mudmander. A mudmander. Zeb's silt sleigh. Available for excursions. And uh, what if we wanted to take it a bit further? Yeah, how much to buy it? I mean, let's discuss after supper. And lucky for you, I'm an excellent cook. Things are looking up. Oh no. Mm -mm. No, I'd be good. Oh man, no. Mm. Mm. Is she just pouring that on the ground? Definitely needs salt. Excuse me. Is Borman the only one eating this? What are you doing out here all alone? I was a warrior, paladin of Kashmir. Wow. One of three sent to rescue the princess was taken by servants of a dark power. Oh, this is very familiar. Well, what do you remember? Years wandering the shattered sea. 
So that princess has been there for a long time. Hmm. Forgot who we were. And in the end, turned on each other. Murdered each other. Uh, that's ominous. What's beyond the shattered sea? The sea goes on forever. <sighs> that's demoralizing. When I was drowning, I saw Eric. The crone was reaching out for him. I think he's running out of time. She thought it was just a vision. Oh, is that the pool? Is it empty? Wow. Hey, new girl, where you at? So either that girl's been there for years, lost in this kind of timeless place, or the crone just assumed her form. What if it's the way out? It's not, okay? How can we know until we try? Do whatever you want. Uh, yeah, that's the crone right there. That's her being angry that she won't do what she wants him to do. Actually, I'm the prince of tears. First of all, I don't sound like yeah, that. Yeah, you do, but you're less obnoxious than I expected. Still not gonna make out or whatever. I didn't even thought about it. Of course you have. You're thinking about it right now. He's such a horn dog. <sighs> to be a teen boy, I guess. Breakfast, anyone? Oh, I can knock you up some eggs, no problem. So this guy had eggs and he made them eat that nasty worm soup. Oh, who likes their scramble? Oh. We gotta get out of here right now. What's going on? Come on get up. Where the heck did they come from? Whoa. Papa's gonna harpoon. Wow, you didn't even take time to aim that thing. Fail, Borman. Uh, maybe move your head. Try it! No! Why not? Because there's a perfect moment for that. You're in- Oh! <laughs> I bet she's gonna heal up, though. I bet she's gonna heal up. Get him, Borman. What just happened? Good job, Jade. What happened with Graydon? He shot magic out of something. What was going on there? Did I ever tell you about that time when I thought I caught a possum and it turned out to be a porcupine? Every time they yanked one out, they used the same with police method to numb the pain. Ow! Ow! <laughs> that's one way to do it. <laughs> oh? oh, that's kind of cute. I shall name you Kenneth. <laughs> Kenneth? Oh my gosh. What was that you were using? Just my flute. His flute? You know, it, was, it was instinct. Meaningful objects can be conduits, but the magic's in you. It is. So is this entire sea just this very shallow body of water? Because this isn't making any sense to me that they just keep standing on like an inch or two of water here. You know, your opponent won't tell you when to. Stop holding on! Oh! oh. Valorium. Hey, good job. In battle against an opponent who means you real harm, you have to be prepared for anything. <laughs> Willow looks like he's enjoying himself. I feel like everybody is watching too close. What if they catch a stray bolt? Valora isn't the only one that needs to get ready for a fight. That's true. I don't know how Willow is expending this much magic. I got the impression that he had a limited cash. I like his purple magic. That's cool. Those two are so gonna hook up. That's the strategy. I love you. Ooh. I really do. Love you. Aww. Show up and do something about it. Wait a minute, this isn't sword practice. The sky has been beautiful this whole time. You are still holding back. You've got to dig deeper. Use your emotions. If she really dug deeper, she could probably just vaporize Willow. Well, what do you want? To save Eric. Why? I want you to be honest. Oh. Willow. Willow. Oh my God. That was too far. That spell you used on me, it was narcotic. 
Was it? Yeah. Where'd you learn that? They're just now having this conversation? She'll try and weaken your resolve. Oh, not really any of your concern, is it? Just get me where we're going. And then what? I'll kill the witch. She seems really cold all of a sudden. So what are you gonna do? Marry Dove. Start a family. Dove? Her real name is Ruri Hilda. I just call her Dove. Right. Hey, he actually does know her real name. What do you want? To follow my impulses. Say what I really think. Okay, so now she's decided to seduce him. Be strong, Eric. I can't. Right. That was tough. No. I'm sorry. A crone's really good, man. Really good. I was here before you got here. I hid from you because I've made mistakes. I trusted the wrong person and I had to be sure that I could trust you. She's so full of shit. You are the one that brought me here. You're freaking out. Yes, I am. Forget all you know. Come with me. Punch her in the throat, Eric. <laughs> or run away. I mean, you know, that could work too. Only we all know it's not going to work. I'm glad at least now he knows that she's been lying to him. I heard my father's voice calling out to me. When? Beyond the seal. In the light. Glad she's talking to someone about it. I really need you right now. <laughs> Wake up! Well, that was scary. What was that? I'm sorry. You were dreaming. We're having a vision. Hmm. Okay, this little relationship that's been developing is really cute here. Graydon and Kenneth. I don't know what to do. The further we go, the more depressed he seems. Oh. I think we're getting close. I think maybe you can feel it. That would make sense. Has that already happened or is that a future event? How much further do you think? Look. I said we get there and we will. Oh man, snappy. I miss Mims. If you could talk to her right now, what would you say? Hang on, Bobbin. I'll be home soon. That's sad. Wow, that's gorgeous. You should sleep. I'm not tired. You're no good to anyone weak. I stopped you from going after your father. Are we finally going to squash this beef? I was jealous of you. Nothing I've ever wanted has come naturally to me. What did you want? To be brave and loved and to not be a princess. <laughs> We've got two of the three. I sort of did. Yeah, if you're not the princess, you want to be the princess, right? All the little girls want to be the princess. I'm worthy of this. Is he finally going to try it? I'm still thinking this is going to be a kit thing, but we'll see. I don't think it worked. <laughs> Sorry, Borman. <laughs> not you, buddy. Mims. Oh, he's sending her a message. Huh? I was so worried. This isn't gonna be good. You weren't meant to protect her. Oh, God. Oh, on one of your adventures. Are you having fun? I think the crone's messing with him. You're dreaming. Hey, you're dreaming. I have to go home. You can't. It's the crone. She's trying to separate us. She's right. You've killed us. I had to do it. I didn't have a choice. What? He set Kenneth free. He was sick. If I didn't, he was gonna die. Well, now we're gonna die. Hundreds of leagues from wow. anywhere. There's nowhere to go backwards, and nothing, nothing has gone the way it was supposed to. I mean, you can keep walking. That's what you said. They walk across it. It's not long now. They're close. She can feel it, I guess. I'll do whatever you want. Oh, God. Don't be afraid. Poor Eric. We've got you now. I'm really sad for him. He's a good kid. He had no chance against something like that. Unfortunately, I think Alora is going to end up having to kill him instead of save him, which really sucks. I'm not who I thought it was, Gray. Who are you? I'm nobody. He needs to let Kit have a shot at this cuirass. You okay? Yeah, something seems a little off about him. When we get to the city, I know you're going to save Eric and you two will go off together. I wouldn't bet on it. And while I don't love him, I do love you. Wow. Not asking you to love me back. I just wanted to tell you because without you, I never would have become the man I've always wanted to be. Oof. She loves him back. What a predicament. All right, are we 
finally there. You can literally fall off the edge, huh? Maybe we took a wrong turn somewhere. Oh yeah. Should have gone left. Oh my god, maybe you have to jump off the edge. The city is supposed to be here. It isn't. It has to be. Uh I think you've gotta jump. This isn't how it ends. How does it end? In the immemorial city. <laughs> Me. Dead. What? This is what Willow saw in his vision all those years ago. How does she know that? She showed me. The crone. Oh. I don't want to be Elora Dennett. I just want to go home. <laughs> <sighs> That's sad. Well, tough. Is Kit gonna give her the pep me up talk? I have never believed in anything. I believe in you. Aww. I don't know what to do. That's sweet. We both do. Are you gonna jump, girlies? Look around. It's over. There is nowhere to go but back. Jade knows they're about to jump. You ready? Yes. They're the two most motivated to get to Eric, that's for sure. They're gonna end this episode here, aren't they? There they go. All right, so you jump to get down to the immemorial city, but how the heck do you get back? That's the real trick. Do you just have to swim through the pool until you hit Skellen? Is that the only way to get out? We made it. Bravo, ladies. That was really brave. Let's see if the rest of the party follows. I think they can figure this out. Oh god, are they gonna see Eric? I am scared to see Eric again. Who knows what he looks like or what he'll act like. He may be completely different the next time we see him. Oh god, he cut his hair. Okay, so he doesn't look that much different besides a haircut. I'm not going to talk a lot because I want to get to the next episode, but we finally have Kit and Alora united in purpose. Loved seeing that. Graydon has come clear on his obvious feelings for Alora, going so far as to tell her that he loves her. She's not at a place yet where she can tell him that back, but... I do think she feels that for him and I think that will eventually come to pass that they will get together. And my unfortunate prediction that Eric would succumb to the crone has passed. It's really sad to see what happened to him. Obviously we haven't seen the full impact yet because we haven't had the new version of Eric unleashed on us yet, but just knowing that he basically went through who knows how many days of deprivation in this place by himself he was eventually going to succumb to the only force there which is the crone so really hard to see that and i think it's going to be really hard for alora and kit to wrap their mind around the fact that they've they've lost eric so presumably next episode, there's going to be a big showdown, at least between the three of them. If not, I'm assuming the entire party is going to join them. They're not going to be okay letting them go on without their help. So I think they'll eventually all be there and we'll have to fight Eric and the crone. I'm not really sure. There's an easy way to find out. Let's check out that next episode. Children of the Worm. That may be what Eric is now. Oh, here are the gales. You're here. What a wonderful treat. Look at you. You okay? Eric. No, something's wrong. You're one of them now? They're not who you think they are. Neither is she. She is just mm -hmm. using you to get what she wants, Eric. She needs Bebmorda's blood to, to something and enslave the world. <laughs> she said you would say that. We really want to help you. We just want to take you home. I'm not the one who needs help. Mm-hmm. Wait a second. Is that Dad's sword? Where did you get that? It's funny because he sounds like himself, but he has literally drank the Kool-Aid. Telling you, yeah. you won't have to drag me anywhere. You just have to listen to her and then we'll go home. It's the only way. It's like getting sucked into a timeshare discussion. <laughs> you just you just have to listen to her and then you can walk away. Everything's fine. A leap of faith. That's how you get to the immemorial city, right? It's possible. Then let's go. They're gonna do it. Kit is Elora's protector. And who protects Kit? I do. But Tirislene and Sorsha and... Because you love her. Most importantly. This is bigger than Eric and the crone. This is the beginning of a war and they can't win it alone. You all definitely need to be there. He looks proud of her. Oh, 
Oh, she's so brave. Good old Jade. You're on your way to becoming a great sorcerer. And an even better man. We'll see each other again. Yeah, that sounds like a goodbye. Is he really not gonna go? Are you gonna jump, Borman? Truth is, you're loyal, dedicated, and strong. And Mad Mardigan would have... Seriously, don't... Okay, because then I want to start crying. Will you shut up and let me finish? Nope, too late! Oh! <laughs> Good for you, Borman. Okay, Willow, it's your turn. There's no way you're turning back now, buddy. You're right there. All you have to do is make a leap of faith. Ah, oh, that's actually really sad. Hopefully he'll change his mind. It's the part of himself that he gives to us. Ew. The worm. Ladies, the hard part is over. I wonder if we'll see her actual form. Could you give us a moment? You know, one time I convinced him that he had Buchan Higgins disease and that all of his fingers and his toes would rot off if he didn't drink large amounts of vinegar. Oh. It's not a real thing. Oh, no, no, I made it up. Oh, Laura. What's the choice? Everyone's choice is their own. Only you can know what it is. Okay. Very informative. I don't think I'd be buying that timeshare. Uh, did you know I'm shouting? <laughs> what about that? You see that? A storm is rolling in. It's dark, windy, probably the end of the world. If either of you two want to make out right now, real quick, I I'd be up for it. <sighs> what do you suggest? Well, I already suggested that we all kiss, but you blew me off. So in lieu of that, <laughs> camouflage. Camouflage? What for? This doesn't seem like a good idea. I'll go along. Go wait here. Um, she doesn't seem to be waiting there. That's pretty. Oh, it's Sorsha. This can't be real. Can't it? No. I guess so. What do you think? I think it's a beautiful lie. I guess it could be anything we want. It's our wedding. Ours? What? So silly, there's no one else. Oh, they're here. They're hiding. From who? From us. But they don't even know you're there. If they're hiding from us, that means they know that we're here. In which case, who are we hiding from? From them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting up. What? Yeah, sorry, buddy. No, wait. Uh, oh, Borman, you lovable scamp. <laughs> the heck was that? <laughs> That storm looks scary. I got it! Great! Do magic! Right, I'm a sorcerer. With a magical flute. Let's go! Open the damn door! Ah, shit! <gasps> I'm turning to stone! Oh my god. And I was wrong to deny you your freedom. And it's not too late for me to give it back to you. I hate everything about this. They're being told everything that they want to hear. It's okay, I guess. So they set up a picnic scene, which is how we first saw them together in the first episode. They were having a picnic together. That's kind of a fun callback. What if we could go back before I left, before all those people died to protect you? See, he shouldn't know about any of that. And all you'd be giving up is something that you never really wanted in the first place. Again, offering her all the things she wished she could have, but you can't wish away reality. But the worm can. The worm can get bent. Don't drink that. The life you want, the life you were meant to have is yours. And not in a dream, but for real. I wonder what they used to lure in Eric. Never mind, we saw he was just desperate. With whomever you choose to share it. Oh, she's getting her own fake dream jade. Can, can you hear me? Dad? Oh. Are you here? Where are you? I'm with you, always. Is Mad Mardigan gonna save the day? You've gotta be willing to give up what you want. It's the only way to save Alora. Now go. Go save her. Take me to her. Alora's made her choice. The right choice. Great awakening has begun. Oh boy. This is not good. To deliver this world from suffering and despair. This is turning into Mordor. If only they could do the same for you, dear. This show better not leave us with all of our main characters turned to stone or I'll be pissed. They're not even looking at her. 
You could tell that was bugging her. It's a beautiful tree. That's like the tree in Game of Thrones. So they're going to get married by the crown. Nice. Come on, Alora, you can reject this. He's all yours. What is going on here? I don't think I'm into you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not gonna kiss him. And not you or some worm is gonna make me do something that I don't wanna do. At a girl. I don't get it. Who are you that you would choose pain over pleasure? The hardest road when the easiest is laid out in front of you. Someone with She's principles. Hey! And you, lady, are in big trouble. You're the best, Willow. Shut up! Ludana! Oh! Wow! That was cool! Go, Willow! You alright? Uh, good. A little crusty. Oh. <laughs> I decided not to marry your brother. Good. Why? Because he's possessed or he's just a little naive? A little both. Ooh. She's a crone, all right. Here we go. It's time for a battle. Oh, no. You think you can defeat the worm? He's eternal, bitch. <laughs> I refuse to believe that the crone would say that. Where's Shalindria's little stick? You mean this little stick? Oh, give it to her, Graydon. Oh, she's got a shield. This purple magic is really cool looking. He put everything he had into it. All his ache. Aw, that's rude. She doesn't need a wand though. No way. Alora Dana, you better wake up, child. What is that? Did they really just kill Graydon? Surely they wouldn't have done it like that, so unceremoniously. Are you gonna give it to her? She's literally asking you for it. Nice. It's time for a boss battle. Did she just run away? It's where I belong, standing beside you. Good choice, Willow. Now I'm gonna kill these blokes. Go! <laughs> I love it. Willow unleashed. He's not holding back on his powers now. I wonder if Eric can be saved or if he's just gone. We have to help Alora. Yeah. And you gotta need this. It doesn't work. It didn't work for me. It didn't work for Alagash, but it's gonna work for you. I think so too. You're the one, and all you gotta do is believe in yourself, and you will be unstoppable. Nice. Go save us all. What are you gonna do? I like to leave this world the way I came in. What? Butt naked and kicking ass. <laughs> okay, boys. Who brought butter? Who brought butter? Well, surely this isn't the end of Borman. Oh man, I'm really nervous. I don't want all these good characters to die. Everybody's showing off their light. My money's on Alora. Go, girl, get her. I'm back to. Yeah, that's solid. Maybe Eric will play a role in this. The crown lied to you. She told me the truth. You're my brother. I'm your king. Whoa. Ah! Oh no. Come on, Eric. Maybe he can't be saved after all. <laughs> I feel like magic fights could be done in a more creative way other than just different colors of light going back and forth. You could conjure things, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could do some really neat things with that idea. Why can't I be her? Because you're still afraid. She definitely doesn't seem confident. Be fearless and know this. Wherever the adventure leads, I'm with you. It's time to get it together, Alora. Step into your power. I wonder if she defeats the crone, what'll happen to Eric? <laughs> Alright, the tables have turned. Whoa. This 
This is intense. Is she gonna explode? Oh, she opened up a hole. Oh, brutal. Fatality. No, 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 no. What do I do? How do I help? You already have. There's no way she would turn back into that form. Where Beth would have failed, you will succeed. I know. Oh, great. Gross. Ugh. Look, you have to try it now. Ooh, I want to see this. It lit up. That's a good sign. <gasps> oh god, am I gonna have to fight her right now? She's a transformer. Whoa. Okay, that's a lot more than a cuirass. Jade's like, wow, that's hot. <laughs> What? Okay. What happened to his face? That's horrible. Poor Eric. Oh no. Is Kit gonna actually have to kill her brother? Oh, Eric. Please. <sighs> I'm gonna kill you to get to her. Whoa. Oh, she's not gonna be able to do it, is she? What did he do? Oh, what's that? Talk to him. If he can, he'll see the light and come to you. Oh, can they still save him? Oh, that would be amazing. I know you're in the dark, but I did not come all this way to lose you. Oh. He's looking more normal. Hi. You're okay. Wow. Hey, Borman is triumphant. I want my mom. <laughs> wow, they all made it out. That's great. I was gonna know how brave you really was. Oh. Except for Graydon. Please, can he just, you know, step out of somewhere and say, hey, I'm here. That was just uh, an illusion. <sighs> it just goes on and on to eventually end up back where you started. Nah, we'll make it back. We always figure something out. That's true. Hmm. She's so happy with her new armor. I'm gonna take it off. When? As soon as I figure out how. <laughs> what if the worm or whatever is still down there, waiting? Oh, I'm sure it is. Don't ever tell you about the time Mad Martigan rolled himself into a giant snowball. <laughs> That's a reference to the movie. Hey! Come on, we need you up here. What if Graydon has been taken by the worm? <gasps> sure enough, there he is. This looks like Willow's vision. Definitely looks like Willow's vision. What is this? I like a short do. The beginning. The dawn of the next age of this world. But I can't do this alone. I need someone to help me. And Graydon, I want you. His dream come true. Whoa. That two-headed monster is also a reference to the movie. Well, some things I predicted happened and some didn't. I'm actually pleasantly surprised that they were able to save Eric. I was expecting him to need to be defeated in this final episode. That's a pleasant surprise. What I wasn't expecting was the Graydon development. That's upsetting because Graydon is one of my favorite characters and he's being presented with his dream, which is Laura saying, hey, I want you by my side. I will say though, Graydon is a really smart guy, so maybe he'll be able to break through on his own, but uh, the worm could be very convincing. So I guess we've swapped Eric being in danger for Graydon being in danger. That really sucks. So they didn't give us a cliffhanger, but they gave us a very clear indication that if there is another season, there's more story to be told. I don't know if we're going to get another season. As of right now, they haven't confirmed anything. So if this is the end of the show and the storyline, I think it's an all right place to end in that we know we're setting up for a battle, but 
Allure is at full power. Most of the team is with her. Kit is now in a much better place. So there's definitely been some character development throughout the series that I feel good about. So my biggest disappointment is just that unfortunately it wasn't fully tied up in a satisfying way because my boy Graydon didn't get his happy ending unfortunately. But they wanted to give us a really good hook into a next season. So we'll see if they give that to us. I would ultimately obviously like to see Graydon get freed from the worm and get together with Alora because clearly there's going to be something there. He loves her and I think they both deserve a happy ending. Overall with Willow, I'm glad we got another shot at this world. I'm glad we got a TV show out of it. I don't know if I totally loved it. I mean, it was kind of uneven. There were definitely some boring dragging parts. I wasn't always fully invested in the story of the characters, but there was still definitely some charm there. I still enjoyed enjoyed Willow and a lot of the characters that they introduced. So ultimately I was glad to be back in this world again even if I didn't love every single element of it. I'd love to hear what you thought of the season in the comments. If you enjoyed this reaction give me a like, consider subscribing, and ring that bell for notifications. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.